Ideally, if I can get this way, I can kind of move out of this guy's range a little bit and maybe deal with these two small fries. And then, then deal with that guy, right? Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. See, like, he's had enough already. This guy's, this guy's done. Them. Oh, I put three fires on myself? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't put it on her? Damn. Maybe because she went recently with it, so I can't. I would have made this guy turn as well. So he's going to shoot my butt. Yeah, reinforced shields, baby. Then hopefully, this guy's had enough, he's out. Hopefully I can shoot him with my plasma torpedoes. And this guy's got to go miles away to get to me, right? He ain't shooting me now. They're done. See ya. Kaboom. Beautiful. Look at this guy. See you later, man. Glorious. Unleash torment. I am on fire. I'm on a lot of I'm in a lot of fire. <laughs> Chart a course. There is that. Just cause him some extra damage because, well, I can. Reinforce the front. No shields there. Okay, this guy doesn't care. He's out. Hopefully, this gives me the chance to get into this guy's range. Oh, these are my torpedoes, huh? There we go. Okay, can make him move again. We can kind of put him right like there. Might as well throw torpedoes some more torpedoes. Now. So if I go to here, I can shoot him. My concern is. Those torpedoes. Yeah. Could go like this. Shoot him like that. Maybe. I think it's my best option, otherwise I'm gonna give him a free shot, aren't I? Like, if I move to here, he's just going to move in behind and shoot me, whereas here... Let the Empyrean guide us. I'm going to have to try it. Let the incandescent beam scorch our we enemies. broke their shield. Now break their spirit. I could have done with a short, a shallow jump forwards. So that would have been great. Although I can reinforce the right shields here, which is nice. Oh, my front shields are back now. So they do come back after a while. That's good to know. If I do this... Is that going to actually reduce the cooldown of these? No, right? Oh, it does. Cool. Can't hit him with anything, but I'm out of range of that torpedo by a long shot. Although maybe I should have made him turn that way. Yeah, this guy's out. See you later, buddy. Now he shouldn't be able to hit me. Oh, he can't. Great. Uh, 
Uh. Owie. We need to restore the shields now. Take out his torps and my torps. I can't actually hit him, can I? Which is a bit unfortunate. These torpedoes aren't very agile. Master, ta Master Cannoneer. Reduced it to one cooldown. It's nice. I like. The, I like that you can do that. Let destruction Hit him with the macro forward. cannons. That's a lot of short range damage, buddy. I'm gonna blast him with the dorsal. Send them into the cold void. See ya. The dark void will erase their colors. Yeah, Adam. What's the range on this? Get turned on. <laughs> Thanks, Blessed are the faithful. It. It's just, it just targets it. It made his ship move 90 degrees and it just blew up. Cool. Very successful. Super happy with that outcome. Nice. Although, unfortunately, <laughs> all of that was, all of that, all anything I got from that was basically put straight onto, uh, uh, repairing. I've got 41 scrap. It's not terrible. What do I need for this? 85 in total. Okay. Oh, you know what? Um. How do I... Ah, back to bridge. Have I got uh, somebody I can trade with at the moment to get new parts? Because I've realized I haven't traded with anybody in a while. Um, transporting some goods. It's these guys, right? Yeah, here we go, here we go. Torpedo tubes capable of firing four plasma torpedoes with 19 damage warheads. Oh, okay. What is this? Glimmer pattern void shield array. Provides 70 points of protection for each sector. This amount is doubled against blast attacks. Huh. Okay. Immediately consume this item provides 50 scrap. Oh. Okay. Plating coats the vessel from harm, negating 5 points of damage on each side. So. I think currently equipped. Ah, oh, this is my torpedoes. So why would I upgrade to the... I wouldn't upgrade to the same thing. Okay. Oh, wait, instead of... Okay, so instead of torpedoes, I can have a lance weapon. Long-range lance weapon dealing 45 to 55 damage to an en chosen enemy within an, a narrow firing arc. Uh... I mean, I may as well pick it up. It's free, right? It doesn't cost me anything to grab this stuff. Mars pattern Prowl battery. Short range Prowl mounted macro cannons. Fire four shots, dealing 14 damage per shot. I want this. Cannot purchase reputation too low. But, oh, I have nothing suitable to trade them. That's sad. That is sad. Bayonet knife. What does this do? When the wielder attacks within range weapon, at a one cell range, that attack also inflicts bleed. Okay. 
Staff of Endless Flame. Inferno, Inferno, Inferno. Cool. 16 to, 16 to 21 damage. That's actually not bad. It's actually... It does more physical damage than my hammer does. Okay. Sure. What else do I have? Swashbuckler Cloak. Who has two melee weapons equipped. They gain a we plus 10 weapon skill and critical damage. Plus 15% critical damage. Not bad. Not bad. Oh. Yeah, I'll have that med kit. Reinforce a helmet. All targets of Taunting Scream suffer a penalty to their willpower tests. What is... Taunting Scream? I don't know, but I'll take it. Imperial Scroll. Okay, Lore Imperium. Bloodhound Staff. So the Navigator. Okay. Sanctioned staff. Oh, it's like a book. <laughs> the Emperor's Wrath. What does the Emperor's Wrath do? The wearer's first melee attack in combat cannot be dodged or parried. It's a shame it's only the first attack in combat, which is then useless after every single turn after that. It's, it's, a, it's a waste of space. The wearer gains 50% bonus damage against enemies that dealt damage to this wearer this round. I wonder if that counts, like, if I take zero damage, if somebody hits me but does zero damage, does that count? Probably not, right? Power Claymore. Two-handed melee weapon. 13 to 18 damage. Heavy Bolter. Strength 60. This is light armor, huh? World Property 10 Agility, 10 dodge against human enemies. Each enemy killed by the wearer's area attacks increases damage dealt of the wearer by 3%. That could be good for um, um, Argenta. Dark Visionary Hood. 10 wheel power, 15% damage to psychic and navigator powers. But inflicts a minus 10 penalty to weapon and ballistic skills. That would be good for either Argenta or... No, either Cassia or um, Idira. Hmm. The Explorer Tours. Oh, here we go. What's this? This grant, this, this manual grants the owner a bonus to Medicaid based on toughness. It also grants toughness MP bonus after using a medkit. It's a shame I don't actually use medkits because I can heal myself. This heavy armor looks nice. Plus 10 toughness. Hmm. Cool. She's going to run and go in the wearing gains. Plus 15% cover efficiency. It's nice. Deadly repeater. Oh, 22 to 32 damage. Nice. It's a noise sniper. This arc rifle looks cool too. Solid projectile. Uh, we just looked at these guys, right? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Get this stuff for free. Stub revolver. I'll take med kits and some grenades. Absolutely. What do you have that's worth my time? Dark lance. 26 to 39 damage. Range 10. Look at that dark like blast. It's like a straight line. It's a las gun, two handed. For the first round of combat, the wearer gains number of additional attacks equal to their psi rating. Wow. It's a nice sniper, too. Heavy xeno mesh. That's nice. Storm Bolter? 
10 to, to 14 damage. Really? Psychus Blessed Breastplate? Heavy? Really, a heavy Psychus Blessed Breastplate. That's interesting. Reduces the chance of triggering Psychic Phenomena by 10%. Any psychic phenomenal perils of the warp manifest, the wearer gains additional one psi rating until the end of combat. Actually not terrible either. It's actually really good. Um, two deflection if the wearer's willpower is more than 50. Is mine more than 50? I don't know. That's actually, that's actually really good. It's slightly less armor than I have now though. It's just the only downside to it. Precise bolter. What do you want? It says hide untradeable, but then I can't click any of these. Hide untradeable. Wow, I can get 15,300 reputation with this guy? Are you kidding me? And what do I need to get max? I don't need 6,000 6, to get to the next level. Let's do... Let's do 12k. So, Reputation 2. Okay. Some boots. Whenever the wearer hits an opening uh, with a charge slash dance macabre abilities, they inflict bleeding. Oh, that would be good for an assassin, right? Telepath Staff for Unsanctioned Psyker. Visions of Death. Sounds lovely. The target must pass the Willpower Resistance Test. If the test fails, the target suffers mental damage. If the test succeeds, the target instead suffers Psyker's Stave Powered Level Mental Damage. Hmm. Oh, I can't have this because I don't have the... Um, the profit factor, yep. Yeah. The weird. It's like I hide on trade tradable, and then it's like okay, you can trade these, but then it's like I can't click them. It it it, it actually won't let me click them. But then if I go show tradable. It highlights 19,700 worth of rep. Weird, huh? So holy gifts apparently the best for these guys and jewelry. Dude, it's so broken. What is happening? Why is this so broken? Do I have any jewelry? Oh, it's not alphabetic. Uh, alphabeti alpha uh, alphabetized. Alphabetical. I think that's what I wanted to say.
Okay. Rank one. You get their militant's cloak. And the elite chain sword. And if I could, oh, I can't even get this heavy bolter either because I'm not I have profit factor. This would be kind of nice for me. 50% bonus damage to enemies, uh, uh, damage against enemies dealt, uh, dealt damage to the wearer. Made rank 3. Oh, and now it seems to be working. Interesting. Hang on, let me get rid of these selections. So holy gifts are best for these guys, right? So let's do that. It's 2,000. 4,000. Oh, I need... 9,000. Almost. Almost. There we go. Nope, that's not enough. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I've got another site. I've got another staff, though. I need three. Rank three. Any more holy gifts? Oh, yeah. There we go. Cool. Give me that. And those. Holy gifts give a lot of rep, don't they? To pretty much everybody. Oh, no. Heretic trophies and Xeno artifacts for these guys. Heretic trophies. Okay. Cool. So what oh, I can't trade these guys anything. Okay. Nice. Now I got a lot of stuff. I don't think I need that. That's cargo. Or that. Or that. Or that. I don't think I need that. I mean, I've got two of these now. What does a, a deer hang of? I mean, I like a, a lightning one at the moment. It gives her 10 willpower. This one also gives her 10 willpower, to be fair, it's the same thing. But I don't see the point of the visions of death, right? It's cargo, cargo. Cassia. No, I think the one she has on again is better. See ya. Tech use. Oh yeah, who's my tech use? It's you. 93 tech use, yeah. Now we're talking. Then for me... See, if the, if the wearer must fall unconscious, a status field, so it's only if I die, right? So this... Looks pretty cool, too. It gives me... 50% bonus damage to enemies that dealt damage... This round, right? So I should hopefully get... Bonus damage, pretty much every round. All targets of taunt... What's taunting scream, then? Wonder. Thunder hammer is worse. So we're gonna get rid of it. Okay, what is this? Like, what are these pieces? Are these just like? I guess this stuff I just think I can just put straight into my cargo, right? A link chainsaw. That is nice as well, though. To be fair, fourteen to seventeen damage. Medicaid, that's okay. Bonus to Lore Imperium. I 
about Cassia for this helmet. The helmet grants immunity to the wearer, but critically for the first three rounds. This one grants the wearer's ranged attacks, plus two times fire rate of damage percent damage. Let's do that instead for her. I think that's better. Don't think I want that flamer. Uh... Everything she has. That altar she's had like since the start of the game. Just haven't needed to change it. Didn't I? Just get a pretty good set of boots. The wearer gains perception bonus dodge until the start of the next turn for each enemy affected by their psi power. Oh. Yeah, didn't I just get a new pair of boots? Here we go. Whenever the wearer hits the, an opening. So you deal with openings, right? Oh, you can't wear them. Of course you can't wear them. Damn. Uh, Um, nothing super amazing there for her. Okay. I think she's fine like that then, for now. What is this? Oh, it's just one protector. Another wielder attacks. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's one cell range. Hmm. Plus 15 bonus to Medicaid. Uh, wait, who was the one that was... You, Medicaid. The wearer of this helmet gains percentage armor. The helmet also grants a bonus to fellowship equal to two times the Iconoclast rank. Okay, I think I'll leave it like that. I think that's still better. All right, looking pretty good now. We got some interesting stuff. I mean, I can always try this back on if, if I don't feel like the 15% damage against enemies that dealt damage this round. I think I think that's pretty good. The wearer deal that gains a 15% bonus damage to against enemies that dealt. So if somebody shoots me, I gain damage direct. I don't just gain a 50% damage bonus. I think it's I gain a 15% damage bonus to that particular user. Because while I like the emergency emergency injector, it can only be used once per combat, and I have to die for it to, to work. You know? Which is okay, but I prefer stuff that I can use constantly, and I think the other one's better for that. I think we're all done here. Yeah. Well, I identified ruin ruins, but I'm pretty sure I have identified them, but whatever. So we need to go here. So I guess we jump jump to there, then jump there. Wow, there's stuff all over here as well. The engine decks were transformed into exotic gardens. That sounds nice. Several chambers sprouted foliage, vaguely resembling the plants on Terra, although they exhibited a glass-like surface polished to a mirror sheen. While reflections in the, planets perf in the plants perfectly copied the surrounding objects, they did not show a single living being. Those who peered into them saw grotesque, blood-covered creatures instead. Not unlike bloated, abyssal fish with a pair of clawed limbs, sometimes more. Unable to destroy the sinister growth, 
the voids men covered it with a uh, plastic with plastic hoods until leaving the immaterium. I have 21 of these navigators inside, so maybe I should use them <laughs> more often. You know? We should head here first. Boom. Some pirates. Lovely. What do we have here? Flog Flogiston? Yeah, put an extract in there. The ship's orcas have detected a non-native mineral cluster on the planet's surface. Probably the remains of an ancient asteroid shower. The substance is valuable, but collecting it will not be easy. The asteroid sits above numerous underground caverns. The ancient tunnels and vaults are incredibly unstable and would likely not bear the weight of a large group of humans, let alone a shuttle. Take the risk. Succeeded. The crew's expertise made it possible to collect the material without disturbing the ancient caverns. Lovely. Oh, and the plasteel as well. Oh, I don't have any more extractum extractums. It's sad. Oh, I want some provisions. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Not sure what that is. Stumbled upon the remains of an ancient imperial vessel. <laughs> Let's go deal with these pirates, shall we? I can see crimson lights in the void. And you know. Hold up! My shield's still alive. Why, why did they do damage? I don't get this system. Really. I do not get this system. Like, I have my shields up. Like, look, I am a half HP. The only shield that failed is the front one. The side one should still be protecting me, and so should the rear, yet every single person did this much damage. That's nuts. Torpedoes, now! Oh, word. Let the incandescent beam scorch our enemies. Of course, now I set myself on fire. Look, see, I didn't do any damage to him because his shields are still up. All right, that makes sense. You know? Let the Empyrean guide us. Macro cannons, annihilate them. Let's protect the rear. I kind of want to get a bit of distance. Yeah. So he's going to be able to hit me here, isn't he? Yeah. Jeez, come on, man. It's hitting me like a train. This is... Seriously? Wow. Genuinely quite shocked that I died that quickly. That's... Wow, okay. I think I had a better better survival rate with the other fight that had those big uh, 
Citadel class ships in there. Could not do no damage. Right, that makes sense. No damage. But why? Okay. What? Also, why is that not hitting my rear shield? Why is that considered my side shield? You know? Like that. What the frick? How are these guys so tough? They're nothings, and yet they're Unleashed absolutely tall, destroying then. me. Let destruction pour forth. Right, look, that makes sense, because I went through the shields, right? So, fine. Good. Chart a course. You are losing control. Understand your limits. No. I don't want to. Oh, I'm right in the way of that torpedo. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> Time to get out. I can't move anymore, can I? So I can't shoot him, which is a shame. This guy's hit really hard, though. Is he gonna kill me here? No. No, he's not. That'll do. Torpedoes! Now! Steer us to our target. Uh, let's do left side. It's a fight. Can we uh, hit him with this? Not a direct hit, but we can do a self destruct. Emblazon our path. Right them. It's a lot of damage. Send their souls to the void. Oh, almost. Oh, well, we should be able to now, though. And. Boop. Noise. Ah. Uh, oh. I was gonna say. Let the Game? What's happening? A barbaric display. I am surprised we survived. Rude. Thought I did all right. All things considered. Nothing. Super. We get a direct shot to this one. Oh, uh, wow. More roots. Got to so many. Am 
Why is there so many? Damage taken. Uh oh. The clan service in the void ship arrays uh, petitioned the Lord Captain for aid. Compartments were becoming overrun with putrescent fungal corruption. Okay. The Michaelium claimed one chamber after another. Thick black spores poisoned the rogue trader's servants, causing their eyes to burst and their veins to swell until their skin ruptured. Yikes. This void jumping stuff's not good, is it? I never, like... I'm always doing these really dangerous jobs. Lord Captain, Drakari ships are patrolling the system. The likelihood of slipping past their patrols unnoticed is close to zero. Huh. Are these guys going to be a problem? This is oh. here. Just less damage, right? Oh yeah, this is instead of the torpedo tubes, right? Isn't it? Yeah, right here. You're not leveled up yet, so that's what it is. Let's try these guys. I don't know if, if they're going to be tough. You fail to get past the enemy ships unnoticed. The Drakari ship attacks at once. Get ready. Beacon in the darkness. Alert. Dakari have blocked one of your uh, some of your flagships. Posts. Using an unknown Xeno power. Your crew will regain control of these posts in several rounds. Ow. He like decimated that shield in one turn. Look at that. Three. Oof. Well, let's try this thing out. Send them into the cold void. Wow. Wow. Cool. Did a lot of damage. Chart a course. We're gonna ram him for good measure. Emblazon our path. Cool. <laughs> Completely unnecessary, but well worth it. Oh, I didn't see you. Where have you come from? <gasps> More? Oh, no. These guys suck. They're really tough. Come on, they get to spawn in and have a turn in the same go. Like, in the same rounds. We have lost the shield. Let us not lose our zeal. Phenomenal. Cool, I guess. To our target. Oh, can I be using acceleration? I can't use it now, can I? Damn it. I'm so dumb. Well. Yes, yeah, so we're reloading that one. That's over next round because I messed that up big time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to beat these guys. They're, their ships are a little tough. I take way too much damage. As well. The litany of ordinance rings out across.
There we go. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful shot. Completely destroyed him. Send them into the cold void. Let the Empyrean guide us. Yeah. Uh, wait, I told you to go over there. Okay, fine, I guess. Reinforce that side. Uh, yeah, I don't like that two more get to spawn for free here. And then attack before I get to move. Seem to have a lot of movement, don't they? You know? Emblazon our path. Oh Let yeah. The incandescent beam scorch Eat our this. Enemy. Noise damage. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I can't get anybody in range from here. That's kind of sad. Um... Yeah, even if I move, doesn't matter where I move to, I can't get anybody. They can't. Of course they can, because they can move. What? Jeez, that movement's nuts. Owie. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, I am so dead. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. Yeah, I don't think I can beat these guys. I think I'm going to have to retreat and come back later when I have a stronger ship. That sucks. These guys are really tough, though. Like, the movement speed they have and the uh, the damage they deal is just nuts. I feel like shields... Until the shield is completely gone, no damage should get through. I don't like the fact that it doesn't do that. Honestly. Eviscerate them. Let the incandescent beam scorch our enemies! Wow, I did no damage this time. What? I obliterated this guy last round. Charter course. This time I did nothing. Unleash the storm of macro cannons! The machine spirit of the void shield array no longer protects us. Of course. Of course, because, you know, sure, I, I take, uh, I take explosion damage. Ow, dude, could you not do that? Emblazon our path. Eviscerate Eat this. He did eat it, which is phenomenal. Send them into the cold void. <gasps> there we go. I was like, what do you mean no I missed? Great. The rewards from these guys best be 
insane for the kind of damage they're doing. It won't be. It'll be garbage. <laughs> Guarantee it. Oh. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, eat this, man. Stay here. I'm actually quite surprised. So I jump forward, what, five cells? Send them into the cold void. I have to somehow oh, another one? Another two What is this? Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely can't win. Yeah, no, no way, dude. Not like not like this. I mean these guys are gonna get in range and shoot me. This is ridiculous. I'm dead, right? No, okay, apparently I'm not. Somehow. And I can't do the the 180 spin. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. I have to get rid of one of these guys, don't I? Eviscerate them. Let's give it the uh, the warp channeler. Oh, she can't use her abilities? Oh, that's sad. Well, I'm dead. Yeah, because this guy's just going to 180. Look at that. Insane. Yeah, come on now. Why do they keep respawning? That sucks. Like, how many do we need? Wait. I think I loaded the wrong save. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those guys. I'm not a fan actually of the, the constant spawning. That's the, that's the, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to do this. Uh, I'm not a fan of the just the continuous spawns. That sucks. Like a never ending fight, and I can barely survive the first onslaught of two of them. Never mind, like, <laughs> the, the four extras to turn up. And God knows how many more after that I can spawn, right? Like, that's just the beginning. Oh, come on. What the? Okay, give me this one. Why did they have two saves in combat? That's weird. Alright, well I'm out of here for now. <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with that mess another time. Hey, a safe room! For once. Oh, I'm over here. Okay, let me stop here then. Absolutely zero. I will have those. Thank you very much. Not explored. This planet can barely sustain life and yet searches discovered a long lost Imperial Connolly. One that was cut off from the rest of the galaxy centuries ago. The colonists live in conditions worse than any underhive. Yet they still venerate the Emperor and gladly welcome their visitors. Lord Captain receives an invitation from a local ruler. Pay the Arch Queen an official visit. The ruler meets Lord Captain in a shack considered to be a palace by their people. Tech, you succeeded. The Arch Queen's unusual crown is made of a metal of metal coils. 
most likely part of an ancient device for boiling water. The guests are served the finest delicacies the colony can provide. The Arch Queen uh, praises the visitors in mangled low gothic and calls the Lord Captain her dear sister. At the end of the audience, gifts are presented to the guest. The Arch Queen's minister uh, delicately remarks that the, pro the best possible gift the Lord Captain and her crew could provide would be the replenishment of the colony's meager gene pool. The Lord Captain gives orders to canvas the lower decks for volunteers. The most rugged, handsome men among them will be sent to the Arch Queen's court, along with other gifts. Cool. The Arch Queen is delighted and flattered. She hopes the Lord Captain will pay her more visits in the future. I bet she would have like, given her uh, given her stuff like that, you know. Okay, get some. Some stuff, nice. Swift and merciless retribution is the proper fate for any transgressors, but the Imperium permits using the convicts for hard labor on distant prison worlds like Feoboss 6 to atone for their crimes before humankind. Hundreds of thousands of rogues and lowlifes toil in the mines of the Von Valancius Protectorate until death from exhaustion or some other unfortunate accident claims their forsaken souls. Sounds fun. Okay. The steady rhythm of life aboard the vessel was disrupted when, on the fourth watch of the voyage, the lower decks had their gravity reversed. The stunned denizens of the affected, affected sectors were awoken by being torn from their assigned beds and tossed into the ceiling. Numerous injuries and fatalities were reported. Difficulties in performing regular duties due to the gravity reversal continued until the end of the journey. After the ship exited the warp, the gravity returned to the accepted norm, an event that once again was accomplished by deaths and injuries, accompanied by deaths and injuries among the crew. Cool. The warp does all kinds of silly things, doesn't it? Go here. Then we'll go to our planet and we'll deal with that next part of the story. After analyzing analyzing the Orga data, the officers were surprised to discover that the planet was once covered with oceans. Long ago, an unknown cataclysm cause the seas to dry out and turn the world into a lifeless desert. Life is fragile. It certainly is. Nothing on there. Nothing on Nothing on there. I happen to have read about... Oh. Hang on. I happen to have read about burning worlds in Pandora. It is said the fires there have been raging for close to a century. Nice. Let's do it. Well, Captain, Mr. Helmsman on the line, I can report that the quest for the capital world of the Von Valencius dynasty is finally at an end. Dargonus is straight ahead. We have received countless greetings. Your subjects would like to know when their mistress will be arriving. The merchant captains taking refuge on the orbital docks of Dargonus race to send you priceless welcoming gifts, hoping to buy your favor and to make an impression on the rogue trader. 
Um, my subject should, should exercise patience. I will go to Dark Owners later. Ah, uh, no. Tell, tell Dark Owners the Rogue Trader is coming. It will be done. Lord Captain, I will be pleased to accompany you during a visit to Dark Owners, so I can personally in, uh, introduce Achilles Scalander, a servant of the Golden Throne who previously attended Lord uh, attended Lord Lady Theodora on Dargonus. I'm counting on your benevolence. I don't want to take you. Do I have to? So that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.